really big vein sitting on the back of their ears. And now that blood moves and circulates through the ears. So by flapping their ears, it cools the air down, which then cools the blood down, which then cools the body movements over our, our veins, which then cools the body temperature down. Animals don't sweat. Mm. So they've got to regulate their body temperature in a way, and the animals by flapping their ears. So those elephants are regulating their body temperature. That is super. Is it dehorned? Yes. Or? No, all our mm -hmm. um, So mostly then fighting. Um, and if you take them all away, then they equal match. Fence got broken during a robbery and security.
temper tantrums prevailed. So that thing, that is not. Who does the color? A guy called Jan Schneemann. Okay. What you find with monogamous birds is they look almost identical. Um, so in birds where the male takes a lot of partners, um, you know, he does his thing. Yeah, hey, mum. Oh, shit. Let's see. Um, they just very slightly uh, upstream. <coughs> yeah, you might be able to see quite a few the other ones. <laughs> This is a tiny one. That's <laughs> yeah, man. You left her hanging. <laughs> so, so the other one usually then joins in and then they both gone. <laughs> the other one's oh. leaving it hanging there. <laughs> so shit. I see those lions now. <laughs>
<laughs> We've seen the elephants chasing the buffalo. Yeah. Oh. It's funny, like, you don't realize how small an impala is until you see it next to, like, a zebra. Or, oh. And you don't realize how small a zebra is until you see it next to a giraffe. <laughs> don't realize. <laughs>
Ruffles is a lion. Oh. And now the time I've mistaken this boy for a blooming lion. Tell you. <laughs> He's really pale. Come yes, he is.
course it would be the left of God who would like them dropping out of every tree. And if we hear of anybody coming out, we won't tell them. I can see his laughter. I think it's very difficult. Uh, but I think it's Shivinzi. So the one we saw this morning, the female, I think it's her uh, independent daughter that I talked about. Oh. Um, the older one, the one that, that's a couple years old. Yeah, yeah, she, she's about two and a half. When, so when did they reach full size? Um, so they no, it doesn't really blend, but now she's in the shade. Mm. Even in a tree that's the same colour as her tall, yeah. already those spots are doing magic. Yeah. So to get up the... From here. Yeah. 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 She would claw up. Yeah. It's actually a very comfortable tree for her. Got a bit of an angle, very nice, solid, rough bark. Okay. It's perfect, perfect tree. Like very easy. They're extremely well adapted. I mean, one of the and that actually locks the attention of the predator, which I think that's a bit silly. But then the predator is now looking at this white target, just dives behind a bush, and drops its tail. And the predator wasn't thinking kudu anymore; it was thinking white. The wheel in it which is quite steady um, and that oil helps to prevent the fur getting waterlogged and they actually spend a lot of time in the air and it's very hard to get there um, and so the, the oil yeah, helps the fur not get waterlogged um, and the shaggy fur is it's the warm I love that big white ring that's what, I they're, know, most, right? mm -hmm. what they're most famous oh. for the target on their bottom. Exactly. <laughs> it's actually like a, a follow me sign. So it's kind of like the two, but, but for each other. So allowing yeah. them to ah, follow each other. So there's like the, the school of thought where, you know, it means they can see where each other has gone and, and make sure that they follow each other and don't lose each other when they're running away. Do it. You can do it. Can you see me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, he froze. Look out there.
pense que euh, il faut aussi euh, que tu aies une vidéo sexuelle. Cool. <laughs> 